I consider healthcare a team sport. Healthcare is a team sport. So uh, that means that you need a whole team. Uh, like they say, you need the village uh, to, to do the right thing. And, uh, and RPA was that kind of team. So at the time, it was still contentious as to how or even if uh, we as nephrologists should support nurse practitioners, advanced nurse practitioners, physician's assistants. Uh, but my view of it was that the time was right. It was an opportunity for us to expand our clinical care team. And so the RPA was the first to endorse the advanced nurse practitioners in nephrology uh, in a partnership with clinical nephrologists. So the nephrologist is the leader of the team, but the nephrologist works hand in glove with nurses, technicians, social workers, dietitians, administrators. So interpersonal communication and skills are very important. And also understanding that the team is really a team and it's not hierarchical that, you know, the nephrologist just bosses everyone around and everyone has to listen. It's really a team. I think it's the personal relationships and the among the members and the uh, ability of old members of the society to embrace new members and young members in our profession so that we are all on the same page and working together. I think that the collegiality is the, the biggest thing about the RPA that we all feel and value. The models that we worked on originally uh, focused on the nephrologist and just the things nephrologists could control and did control. That has since expanded to include all of the medical conditions that, that, a, that a, an, a kidney failure patient uh, may uh, experience. And, uh, and the nephrologist is either the team leader for that or is a leader in the, in the organization. Because the RPA engaged other folks and were very specific and focused in the area that they were going to be involved with. And therefore, you were able to get those folks to work together and it brought others from outside the community. Um, nurses, educators, dialysis organizations. So then the RPA was this place to go to. The RPA is very good at evaluating the climate of change in medicine and looking to what we need to keep going and to, to really provide the care for our patients for the future. I think that RPA strength moving forward is going to be its, its linkage to the, the combination of economic and health results. And that's, that's where almost all of its attention is now. Is, is these models that are coming up that are looking at various parameters to define health. People want to know that, that they can be successful um, in their practices and in their care patients and RPA will continue to do that. RPA has really become an instrument of educating and engaging the whole care team and patients in doing what's best.